Hello, I am Daniel Honnable, Applications Engineer at Touchstone Semiconductor. In this video, I will compare the supply current of Touchstone's TS3004 timer to a CMOS 555 timer with an output frequency of 1 Hz. Before comparing the parts side by side in the lab, let's first walk through how to set the timer's output frequency. First, the TS3004. The equation defining F out is found on page 7 of the datasheet. Notice F out is defined by only one component, the R set resistor. Setting the frequency divider inputs to the appropriate logic state of 101 or 5, the required R set resistor value of 3.3 megaohms can be solved for using an output frequency of 1 Hz. Now let's take a look at the CMOS 555. The frequency is defined by two components, the C capacitor and the R sub C resistor. By setting the output frequency to 1 Hz, and the C capacitor equal to 0.1 microfarads, the appropriate R sub C resistor value of 7.14 megaohms can be solved for. Now let's take a look at both circuit schematics side by side. Notice the CMOS 555 circuit requires two external components, whereas the TS3004 requires only one external component to set the output frequency. Now let's take a look at the performance of the timer side by side in the lab. Both the TS3004 and the CMOS 555 circuits are wired and ready to be monitored side by side. There are two voltmeters displaying the supply voltages for the TS3004 and the CMOS 555. Above them, there are two ampere meters monitoring the supply current for the TS3004 and the CMOS 555. A scope will display the F out waveforms for the TS3004 and the CMOS 555. Now applying a 1.5 volt supply, as displayed here. The CMOS 555 is consuming about 50 microamps of current, while the TS3004 is only demanding about 1.9 microamps of supply current. That's a factor of 20 less supply current. Now applying a 2.5 volt supply, as displayed here. The CMOS 555 is consuming 81 microamps of current while the TS3004 is still only demanding 2 microamps of supply current. That's a factor of 40 less supply current. Now applying a 3.3 volt supply, as shown here. The CMOS 555 is now consuming 87 microamps of supply current, while the TS3004 is still only demanding 2.3 microamps of current. That's a factor of 38 less supply current. As shown in this video, Touchstone's TS3004 timer is capable of working with a factor of 40 less supply current than CMOS 555 timers, while still only using one external component. My name is Daniel Honnable, Applications Engineer at Touchstone Semiconductor. Thank you for watching.